To install additional levels, the procedure is simple. You must make sure that you have coupling pins on top of the frames. Then assemble them one on top of the other, placing the ladder next to the wall. In addition to making it easier to run the lifeline through, it's also safer when it comes time to climb up and, above all, to go down. Missing a step down because there isn't one from the 5-foot section is very dangerous. Finally, you lock the frame with pigtails or lock arms. You must install a guardrail around the work area as soon as you reach a precise height according to applicable standards in your area. This can be as low as 6 feet. This is important for preventing falls. Install guardrail posts on each coupling pin and secure them to the frame with their integrated supports and then insert the guardrails onto the posts, always inward. Guardrails are not required for the side facing the wall that we're working on if the distance between the platform and the wall is less than 14 inches. If you are far from the wall, you can install side brackets and an additional platform and you can't forget to extend the guardrails. To prevent equipment or tools from falling, you must plan on installing tow boards or planks on all sides of the platform. It should be noted that the height of the tow board varies according to local regulations in effect. Do you know the three to one rule? A scaffolding tower cannot be higher than three times the size of its narrowest base on the ground without being stabilized or securely fastened. In this case, with a 5-foot width, your maximum height is 15 feet or 3 60-inch frames. Go higher and you must stabilize it. The first way to do this is with a wall attachment. The wall attachment must be firmly affixed to the scaffolding and then you have to select the right type of anchor according to the wall surface that you're working with. For example, on concrete you drill and then install a good anchor before screwing in a hook specially designed by Metal Tech. Then you just have to connect the attachment to the wall. At this stage, take the opportunity to recheck the distance between the wall and scaffolding. This is a simple way to check if the scaffolding is still level. Note that you must tie the wall attachments and still follow the 3 to 1 rule. For scaffolding that is 5 by 10 feet, you tie them at every 15 feet in height and at every 30 feet in length. If a height of 60 feet is reached, don't forget that you're going to need an engineer's approval. If you cannot be anchored to the wall, the second way to secure your scaffolding is to use outriggers that will enlarge your scaffolding base and will respect the 3 to 1 rule. You attach them at the base of the frames and you set them down with leveling jacks. You then immobilize these outriggers with special cross braces to prevent them from moving. And you nail down the leveling jacks. A third way to stabilize the structure is to install additional frames at the base which will be tied with wedge clamps. This same scaffolding that we just talked about can be mounted on 8-inch wheels. This is called a mobile scaffolding tower. It has generally the same assembly requirements that we've just seen, but you should know that the surface of the area where you're assembling it on must be perfectly flat and smooth, like a concrete floor for example. It's important to add a diagonal brace to the base to keep the structure square. Before climbing on the scaffolding, we must lock the casters. If outriggers are being used, you can also add wheels under them. If the surface is not very solid or a bit broken up, you can assemble scaffolding on a trolley with 16 or 26 inch wheels, also equipped with adjustable leveling jacks. Before moving, you must make sure that there are no obstructions in the vicinity, like power lines, and nothing or no one on the platform or on the ground. Scaffolding can tip over and that's very dangerous. So there you have it. Now you're ready to help your customers use Metal Tech scaffolding in a safe and responsible manner. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.